Hello everybody, Helen Matthew and uh, Ben Wixey from Germinal here. Uh, we're just looking at a silage uh, today and, and uh, Ben, can you tell us what is this silage? What cut is it and what, you know, how has it been made, how to fill the plant and so on? Sure. This is, uh, we're in Shropshire, this is fourth cut grass silage made in early October. The conditions weren't that favourable and the silage came in a bit wetter than we'd actually like. Uh, we think it's about 27% dry matter, haven't had the analysis back uh, uh, yet. But it's made quite decent silage in about three weeks. Um, it is well compacted because of the, because of the moisture that was in it. Um, but as you can see, it's a very leafy silage and it has made quite nice sweet smelling silage in, in, four, in uh, four weeks. It was uh, rolled methodically, put in in very thin layers, 15 centimetres, six inch layers of grass and rolled absolutely tight, attention paid to the shoulders uh, and then sheeted quickly, two sheets, air, air sheet and, and, and a normal black sheet and then a weight applied with tyres and sandbags. So would you be happy with this as a sort of a, a quality for a fourth cut and what sort of decisions uh, should the farm be, be making now? Now how should he be doing that and what should he be thinking of? Is he going to improve it? Does he need to grow more? What decisions yeah. is he doing for, for, next, for next season? Okay, so this is a great time of year to uh, analyse where you are with your forage management. Uh, have you got enough uh, grass silage in the pit? Obviously there's not a lot you can do about it now, but we can start to make uh, plans uh, and processes, put processes in place for next year. Have you got enough yield? Is my farm producing me enough forage during the summer months to ensile to keep me going through the winter? If not, let's have a look at different fields. Let's have a look, let's start to measure it. A lot of the harvesting machines now have got the onboard uh, computers that seem to talk to you about yield and everything else. But if not, just measure the number of fields, count the number of trailers coming out of each field and work out the yields that you're getting. Start to create a policy on reseeding. Obviously, uh, Freshly reseeded fields produce a lot more yield than old swords, especially in drought times. You know, we're all struggling at the moment in summer periods with dry weather, and uh, reseeds perform, you know, nearly up to 50% higher yield in, in drier conditions. Um, so it's time, it's a time of year to reflect on what you've got and what you've done, and uh, and, and make plans going forward. On the quality aspect. Um, Think about the timings of the cut. Were they made at the right time? Were the plant at that nice three leaf stage or was it going a bit further and getting uh, ligniny and uh, stemmy and then the digestibility is dropped and the quality and the energy is dropping? Thank you very much, Ben. So for more information and more tips on, on managing your grassland, uh, please go to our website at germinal.com. Thank you.